Okay, so let's graph this. Let's find, let's find the intercepts and the vertex and graph it as accurately as possible. So the best way to do that, well, not the best way, but a, a good way to do this if you're good at completing the square is completing the square. So the trick is to move this over, y plus 5 equals n factor this out, negative 2 times x squared minus 3x. So I factor that out, I divided 6 by negative 2 to know what goes there. Okay? Okay. You got it there. Oh, you're supposed to be 8, not 6. I'm changing, I oh. changed the problem for you. Okay, so now this is tricky because this is odd now. Yeah. Dude, that's ugly. But you know what? It's not that big of a deal. Because what am I going to put here? What's the, pro what's the rule say? I put, I add half of that squared here, and I also add half of that squared to this side, but I also have a negative 2 that's being multiplied. So actually, it's got to be negative 2 times 3x. Let me write it a little bit clearer. I'm adding a negative 2 times 3 half squared because yeah. I added it to this side. I have to also add it to this side. And then how do you like... So let's simplify that. So this is negative 2 times 9 over 4, right? So cancel that and that. That's actually negative 9 over 2. Oh, I see. So negative 9 halves plus 5. Negative 9 halves is like negative 4 and a half, right? So what's negative 9 halves plus or sorry, what's negative four and a half plus five? Uh, that would be negative one and a half. Positive one half. Oh, positive one and a half. So my equation is y plus one half equals negative two times x minus three halves squared. Oh, okay. So then how do you graph? All right, so now let's graph that. So the <coughs> equation is y plus one half equals negative 2 alright well I'm not going to try to remember this on the next page so let's just find our vertex our vertex is 3 halves comma negative 1 half right? Yeah. so 3 halves comma negative 1 half let me draw a little t-chart here 3 halves, no let's do it on this 3 halves, better yet let's do it on let's do it on a better piece of graph paper there we go. So it's three halves. Negative one half, was it? Three halves, negative one half. So three halves is here. Negative one half is here. So there's my. Whoops. Let me do this in red. There's my vertex. Is it going up or down? Uh, it is going down. It's going down. It's a factor of negative 2. A equaled negative 2. So there's there's my point. There's my vertex. And it's going over 1. Yeah. Down. Normally it would be over 1, down 1. But yeah. this is over 1, down, down, negative two. down 2. Right? So this point is all the way. But notice I'm going to go on the halves, right? One, two, so it's right there. That point is there. Let me draw in a little, uh, let me draw in a little um, axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is always help because it helps you put the other point on there. So if that's my point, then another point is right there. Yeah. Okay? Going over two, going over two from here would be one, two, it'd be right there. Going over two, would be going down. Normally, you'd go down one, two, three, four. But instead, you'd be going down eight. That's right. Five, six, seven, eight. So there's my next point right there. Got it. And then symmets, the axis of symmetry means going two over in this direction, down eight also. Whoops. Would be right there. You got it? Yeah. And then continuing from there. I don't have to continue from there, but my graph, so that would be my graph. Now, do I have any x-intercepts? Whoops. Do I have any x-intercepts for this graph? Uh, 
Uh, no, you don't. You can see that you don't have any x-intercepts. Yeah. If you tried to solve it for an x-intercept, that means plug 0 in for y and solve for x, what would happen? Uh, no solution. Why would it be no solution, though? You'd have, you'd have 1 half equals negative 2. I'd have to move the negative 2 over, right? Yeah. So it would actually be negative 1 fourth right because you're dividing by two but then I try to take the square root of a negative and what happens um, just nothing. you can't take the you square root of a negative that told you that the graph started below and opened down or it, or started above and opened up one of the two it told you that it didn't cross the x-axis okay so the what is the y-intercept gonna be what's that y-intercept you can't just look at it and assume okay. how do I find the y-intercept very good. Plug 0 in for x. If I plug 0 in for x, it's going to be ugly, but we can do it. It's going to be 9 fourths times negative 2. Cancel those, so it's 2, right? So it's negative 9 halves. And then I'm going to subtract 1 half over, so it's negative 10 halves. Oh, that was a pretty number. It's negative 5. And actually, that is what it kind of what it looked like on my graph, didn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, not quite. Not quite, it was supposed to be there. So I didn't draw. Oh, yeah. See, I was a little bit off with that yeah. picture. And you know, if that's there, then this is also here. Oh, that was pretty good. That one was in the right place. I drew that right side good. It's because I'm right-handed. Make sense? Yeah.